Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing today? I need y'all to pay attention, please. Got something for you. I'm out here because I love you guys. I don't get paid for this. I started this program because I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all might not ever heard that word coming from a gangster, but I love each and every one of you guys because I've been where you guys have been. Maybe not in the exact same situation, the exact same scenario at home, but I've been through what you've been through and probably even worse. I've seen things and done things that you don't even want to imagine because you can't unsee those things. They turn your heart into a dark place and you become this ugly person. You understand me? Listen to what I got to say because it's for you. Open up your heart. My name is Julian Morales. I'm from the Northeast, born and raised in the Devil's Triangle. I'm the ex-leader of the West Texas, all the way from Chicago, Latin Kings. Everybody from Lubbock, Odessa, Midland, San Angelo, El Paso, bow down to me and pay me taxes. That's who I was on the streets. That's what I was on the streets. Because who I am is who I am today. Julian Morales. So Real Talk is a organization that is made up of ex-felons, um, people that have been incarcerated, people that have done time or had an encounter with the police, not necessarily felons, but just someone that's had an encounter with the police and has a story to share and wants to share that with these kids. Born and raised in El Paso, my mom's from Mexico, first generation American, and born in the Devil's Triangle, no money, poor, just like most of y'all probably. Life was tough. Life dealt me a real crappy hand. The age of nine, my sister got cancer. She was two years old. And my mom abandoned me to go be with my sister so that she could see her through her chemo and her radiation. And I was off on the streets on my own. By the age of 10, I was snorting cocaine with my homies at school, drinking vodka out of water bottles, thinking that was the thing to do. I had nobody telling me that that wasn't the thing to do. I bounced around from house to house. My brother here, Aaron, that spoke to you guys right now, his same mom, the one that he just talked about smoking crack, that's where I live. Guess who was selling crack to her and her friends? Both he and I. That's the kind of life we live and we grew up with. I look at a lot of you guys in here with your little attitudes, and I look in your eyes and you ain't about that. You ain't cut like that. Stop acting that way. Y'all end up in the prison with people like me, with savages, y'all gonna get dealt with, cause it's real. You know, our program is a, is a preventative program more than a reactive program. We're trying to help those families right now where those kids aren't in trouble yet, where perhaps they have straight A's, just a single mom can't pay for the sport, can't pay to have them do something positive. The kid has straight A's, well behaved, they're just in an unfortunate situation, and that's what Real Talk's here for, is to help these kids, not only through our testimonies, but through monetary gain, by helping them uh, stay involved in activities with our $150 allowance a month. When I first went in, I was 18, thinking I was tough, just like each and every one of y'all. Walk around with a chip on my shoulder, knowing it all, smirking, shrugging it off. But deep down inside, I was scared just like each and every one of y'all, acting out. Deep down inside, I was scared in a prison with 13 year sentence in the feds in Kansas City, far away from El Paso. And I run with a gang that accepts blacks and Mexicans. So everybody from Chuco hated me. All the Aztecas hated me. All the Mexican mafia hated me. But I didn't care, because I was hard. I was tough. I wanted to make a name for myself. I wanted to be that guy. I wanted everybody to remember my name. Oh, they remember my name all right. Here in El Paso, for our first class, we're expecting to have about 68 to 70 kids enrolled into our first program. And from the sounds of it, about 98% of those kids will be taking advantage of the $150 a month. You know, um, we're focusing on the communities that are in need, on the, those, those communities that are in a worse economic situation than others. So our focus right now has been a lot over in the nine, uh, 79924, 79904 area so that we're able to maximize the help that we're giving to the community, to those children who really do need it, and those parents who really do need the help. 
I ain't out here boasting. I ain't out here being prideful of those things. I'm letting you know where your anger and your hate can take you to a dark place that you can never come back from. And it ain't nothing to play with because it's your life. It ain't your parents' life. It ain't your, about your brothers and your sisters. It's about you and your future. Everything you do right now affects you for the rest of your life. 